Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll take a look at how to create a group filter or a label filter in pivot tables in Excel 2010. I assume you already know how to create a basic pivot table. So I will quickly go through those steps here. I have a table here of colleges and the states that they belong to and whether they are public or private and a bunch of other numerical data. Now I click anywhere inside this table, insert pivot table and just make sure that the entire table is selected by clicking on this button here. Ensure that your pivot table report will be placed in a new worksheet and click OK. You have a pivot table template here and all the fields that you can select into the pivot table. I will first select the public versus private and place it in the row labels and here they are. I will then select the state and place it in the column labels and finally I will select the full-time undergraduate numbers and place it in the values table. By default it shows the count that is the number of colleges in each of these categories but I would like to see the total enrollment so I click on this button here and you can see here the value field settings choice click on that and select sum click OK and now you have the sum the total enrollment of full-time undergraduate students in each category for example the state of Alaska and public colleges what is the enrollment of full-time undergraduates now with this in place I would next like to uh, filter by labels I'd like to filter by column labels so click on this drop down arrow and you can sort by A to Z or Z to A as you can see right now it's already sorted by A to Z so I'm going to sort by Z to A and now you have all the states sorted according to their first letter in descending order if you sort back from A to Z you get back the old order that's one way you can filter well this is sorting not filtering so now let's filter so let's say you want to apply a label filter and say equals I want only those records that equal the state of California CA and now you see only that particular record in your pivot table you can clear the filter from state and you get back the entire set you can set other filters like greater than PA for example or greater than P and now you will see all states where the two letters that represent the state are greater than the letter P okay by the way PA is greater than P according to the lexicograph lexicographic sorting that is done by the computer that is sorting in the order in which the words appear in the dictionary so that is a criterion for sorting or you can clear that and you can say you want to deselect everything and only show um, certain states like maybe California Connecticut Delaware okay so you have only those states show up in your pivot table so this is what you can do in terms of sorting uh, in terms of filtering and sorting by the labels now you can do this not just to the column labels but also to the row labels so that's it for now. I hope you found this useful. Please check out more videos on codable.com.